All right, Shalom. All praises to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakak Kudash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Blessings to the hopeful elect, teaching this word and all sincerity in the truth. Um, yeah, this is gonna be a quick fire one here, man. Literally, man. Um, uh, I don't want it to be too long. I just was, you know, doing my daily scroll of um, RT News and I just came across this article here. Um, especially over here in London, we've been having a, a, a siege of like. Massive, massive thunderstorms, like louder than louder than usual. A lot more lightning in the sky than usual, and um, basically, just one of my one of the scriptures came to my mind straight away as soon as I saw it, man. And I'm gonna get into it, Lord willing. But um, just gonna read a bit through this article here and just break it down a bit, man. It says, um, right, this is World News on RT. It says, uh, lightning strike caught on camera as biblical storms wreak havoc in Germany. Right, and they even got a video to it. It says, um, there's a picture there, and that's hey man, they're saying what? Biblical storms, man. Alright, this ain't no this ain't no joke, man. The Lord look, man, the Lord sanctions everything. If this if this is happening, you best believe the Lord is making this happen. Alright, you might say, Oh, you know, it's you saw, you know, it's harp doing all of these weather hey, but hey, the Lord seals the instructions as well, man. Alright, the Lord seals the instructions. So even if it is Esau that's doing it, at the same time, it's the, it's ultimately the Lord. Because the Lord is basically uh is in control of everything. Alright? The scripture says, Shall there be an evil in the city and the Lord have not done it? This is this is a hey, man, this is it. We coming to the end, man. The, the earthquakes. Well, we're gonna get the scriptures, man. Let me not jump the gun. It says a dramatic lightning strike has been caught on video as Germany continues to be battered by storms of biblical proportions. When you're using the term biblical proportions, you know it holds some weight, man. All right. Because all right, if you want to talk biblically, what happened in history? OK, we had the flood, the flood. All right. Noah's flood flooded the whole earth. Babies were drowning, little children, all of that. Nothing but eight souls survived. We had the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah. All right. So this is what I'm saying. Need I go on? All right. This is what I'm saying, man. If you're talking biblical proportions, you're talking about death. All right. In mass, in mass numbers, man. It says heavy thunderstorms have swept parts of the state of North uh, Rhine, West Philadelphia. Slakia. North Rhine, West Philadelphia, leaving several areas, including Dusseldorf, Wuppertal. And Archon completely flooded. Alright. It says one Dusseldorf resident caught the moment a bright burst of lightning flashed before his eyes. A man can be heard laughing in awe of the dramatic weather moment. Alright. The thing is, you ain't going to be laughing in that time, man. Because, hey, when it, <laughs> we're coming into the time when great lightning strikes are coming down upon you. Alright. Uh, let's get... <laughs> Hey man, because people think it's a funny now. They're saying peace and safety right now, but there's gonna come a time when hey, there's gonna be death. The stench of death is gonna be flowing in the streets, man. Let's get um. Where did I get this precept? Salakia brothers, Isaiah twenty nine. Is it twenty nine? I've got Isaiah 29. Salakia, yeah, bear with me. I had that in my head, but it weren't that one. There we go. I'll visit the Lord. See, I got it in my set. Oh, 29 and 6. 29 and 6. Right? Okay. It's Isaiah 29 and 6. And it says, here we go. It says, uh, Thou shalt be visited of the Lord Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, of hosts, the Lord of the armies, with thunder. All right, with thunder. All right, and that's an example of the prophecy that's being played out here. The Lord said He's going to revisit, He's going to visit this place with thunder and with earthquake and great noise, with storm and tempest and, uh, and the flame of devouring fire. Okay, so there you go, man. All right, and, and another precept that speaks about, in fact, let's get uh, Matthew, the 24th chapter. All right, because these are going to be the signs of the end. All right, let's go straight to the point. Matthew 24 and 6. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled for all these things must come to pass. That's why you got a lot of friction now with Russia and America. 
all these weaker nations, India, Pakistan, North Korea, all right, China, Japan, all of these weaker nations now saying they're strong and they're going to shoot missiles on America, man. You know, Trump's now rustling feathers with the EU. Hey, EU going to shoot missiles on America. That's prophecy. These 10 horns shall hate the whore. All right. Hey, in one hour, it's going to take for America to be destroyed. All right. These are all prophecies, man, coming to pass. All right. The wars and the rumors of wars. But the end is not, not yet. For nations shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. All right. And you, you know, 5.4 magnitude over here, 7.2 over there. 4.3 over here. There's earthquakes nearly every other day now, man. All right? So this is all prophecies that's being played out, man. All right? And all of these are the beginning of sorrows. The Lord says, watch out for these times. All right? Then shall you know, man, because the Lord is coming back. When you go down to verse 30, 31, it says, no, verse 30, it says, And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. Who's the Son of Man? That's Jehovah Shai. And then all shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they which shall see the Son of Man, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory, man. Because the Lord told Esau that he ain't going to meet him as a man. You can see that in the book of Isaiah, the 43rd, 47th chapter and the, and the third verse. All right? And that's another thing that this world ain't ready for, man. All of you guys saying peace and safety out here, you ain't ready for the return of Yahweh Shire, man. He's coming back with that gigantic chariot, man. It's going to look like a fucking mountain. That's how big the chariot is going to be covering the skies, man. Okay? And he's coming with an army of angels, man. And he shall send his angels, all right, with a great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather his elect from the four winds from one end of heaven to the other, man. His elect. That means if, if you ain't of the elect, you basically, you threw, man. Ain't gonna be laughing at lightning bolts in that day, man. You're gonna be, hey, you're gonna be through. Hey, the scripture says that what? Men's hearts shall be failing themselves. That's heart attacks, man. For fear. This is the time that we're coming into, man. Biblical proportions of death and destruction and calamity, man. It's coming back. All right? It's coming back. Lightning strike caught on camera as biblical storms wreak havoc. This is just the beginning, man. Let's get Daniel 12 and close out on this. Okay, because the time that's coming is going to be a time like no other. This is Daniel 12 and 1. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people. All right. Israel. And there shall be a time of trouble such as never was. Such as never was since there was a nation. All right. So all the things of biblical proportion, all the death and destruction, the calamity of biblical proportions that have happened before of old. It's going to be nothing compared to what's coming, man. Even to that time. And at that time, thy people shall be delivered. We just read that. Who's the people that's going to be delivered? The elect. The Lord, the Son of Man. Yahweh Shai is going to come with his, his clouds and the angels of heaven to gather his elect from the four winds, man. All right? Everyone that shall be found written in the book, the book of life, man. All right? And I hope to be among that number, man. Like that song, and when the saints go marching in. Although I want to be in that number when the saints go marching in. Hey, I want to get gathered on, uh, in them chariots, man. I want to get beamed up. And that's why, I look, we give diligence to make our calling and election sure, man. Lest you get caught up out, out here with the rest of the scoffers, man. And the faggots and the trannies and all of that. Alright, so with that, man, I'm going to say shalom.